what is up ADHD gang and happy holiday um this video is super late um I did post a video this month but it was for auditions so I didn't technically want to consider that as a video so we're gonna do like a smaller video so yeah so we're gonna get into it okay so um today i have to we're doing we're doing some labels for my brand small business that i'm gonna start up eventually um i'm kind of just mass producing a lot of stuff so that when i start off I have enough to do like multiple collections or drops or something um but today we're just gonna do some talking um I'm gonna do some ironing and then I'm gonna show you some of my more recent pieces that I have made so far um so talking about um my brand um i have a instagram page for it um my brand that i'm planning on starting hopefully soon is marie designs fashion um that is the logo there um and yeah um essentially At some point, um, I plan to start selling mainly clothing and then, like, accessories like bags. And then I eventually want to branch out and start selling candles because I also make candles. I could also do a YouTube video on that. So if you want to see... just I just touched the iron Eek. cleaning my fabric um if you want to see a video on me making a candle I could possibly try to do that um we'll see um candles and then I want to sell my own art I know and I follow a bunch of people who have like pins I would love to have pins of my little characters and art um i would also love to do art prints of a lot of the stuff that i have um i also at some point in the very very distant future would love to get an embroidery machine and embroider maybe some of my creatures on things um i also paint clothes as well as like a super super small like side side thing that I do like I rarely do it as of right now because I don't have anything currently but a lot of the pieces that I have made that I do plan to sell in the near future have been painted on um, I have painted shoes as well but I don't plan to sell painted shoes because shoes are just something that like is harder to sell because you have to have like the right market that would like fit those shoes and if somebody else wants them and they're not a good size it's it that's too complicated um but yeah for now i'm gonna start out with clothes and then branch out and i know for sure the next step after doing clothes would probably be candles because that would be something that I could do myself and then after that would probably be art because art isn't something that of course the phone has to ring hold on okay so we're back it stopped um yeah so art is something that I would have to go through somebody else to do I would have to pay somebody else to do Art is also something that I want to wait on 
until like the very distant future when like I have access to digital art and I can make digital art so I can take all of my fun traditional pieces and turn them into digital pieces and stuff like that so that's gonna be the near future but candles and clothing and bags are something that I can do myself so let me show you a few of the pieces that I've made recently I'm making a bunch more because I have a bunch of fabric from an estate sale that I went to I don't know when it had to be a few months ago but all the old ladies around me love to sew so that's that's a good one um the first one is something that I am planning on I'm planning on selling all these but this is goes along with bags I want to sell bags um tote bags but I'm also planning on selling kind of travel-ish type bags um so here's one love that button um it's just it's just a regular bag it unbuttons it opens you can take maybe maybe jewelry um just store things in um with the fabric it's kind of cottage corey let's like turn you over to a little bit more in the light um, yeah here's another one this one is a single button as well but this one i sewed the sides so it's just like this center so that when it buttons things don't fly out because it's a little wristlet i don't know i liked all these like grandma cottage core fabrics put together and then here is a much 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 bigger one jumbo button a lot of space um these can be used for traveling if you're just like storing stuff in a drawer whether it's makeup brushes anything really um if you need to sew your sh so if you need to store your like embroidery threads or anything and this is the last one i just thought they were kind of cute i know i use bags like these all the time i have one like this Hold on, I might have it like that up here. Um, this one's a zipper bag that I made, um, honestly without a button. But I keep this inside whatever bag I'm taking with me, and it's for my electronics. So, power bank, AirPods, extra cords, whatever I leave the house, because I always keep that stuff on me for my phone. Um... That's it for that. Um, let's get into some bags, I guess. I have about four here. One of them is for my own personal use because I had a limited run of the fabric and I, I really want to get rid of it. Um, so this is the one that I'm keeping for myself because everything that I make is hard not to keep for myself. Um, it's knotted so it can be longer, but this is all beautiful, beautiful patchwork. And all of these fabrics are a bunch of different shades of green. And then on the inside, it's just black with the, hard to see, hard to see, with the logo in there it's just like this black kind of checkered tablecloth and then same with the underside of the strap that is also black i love this thing i posted this on my tiktok 
and then my Instagram slightly of how it was like constructed a bit. This, this, if I already had this, these squares put together, but if I didn't, that would have taken a bit longer. Um, this one I do plan on selling is this little gray guy. I want to get some zippers because uh, I don't have any of any like proper size zippers so this will get a zipper um, extra long handle I also made sure that up at the top here this is elastic so that way if it was ever tight on because I want everything to be size inclusive so if it was ever tight on somebody it has the elastic so they can like stretch it and like they could have it like stretched down a little bit longer. This will get a zipper, but this has a light gray. And said I did not do the light gray under the strap. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with the underside of the strap yet. Um, it hasn't been decided. Um, these two are my personal favorite because they both are very unique and they match like a jacket that I love so much that I made. Um, we'll start with this one. This is the first one I made and then I had extra so then I made a second one. Like, look at this, look at this. It has, I made sure to put loops for like your charms. Like when you wanna like hook little crystals and charms and all the goodness. Um, just like little strings. There's a giant front pocket zipper and then it's got this big bow like this can go a lot longer than what it's at now um for all of my plus size girlies and themmies and everybody else there's another hoop on the other side i love adding these slight little hoops to bags for your like your charms if you want to hook on your keys hook on your airpods like whatever whatever you wanna whatever you wanna do. I thought this was super cute. I thought with like the extra fringe on the side it was so good. Um and then here's the second one. It does not have a zipper yet. It is a shorter handle because it's what I had left. But it still has that like really super pretty like fringe. There's a hoop. I made sure to add two hoops to this one and some of that like fringy pieces. But yeah, this one's definitely shorter. Um, so on some of my bags that I could not make with a longer strap, I will put like a disclaimer that um, it may not, with the shorter strap, this may not be a crossbody on everyone. Um, just in case. Um, so let's go to jackets. This is the matching jacket that goes with those. They're not going to be sold together. They're going to be sold separately. Everything is most likely sold separately unless it is a guaranteed set. Um, but it's that same gorgeous color. Like it's a it's a full length long long jacket. If you have not seen this. This was my last YouTube video for last month. It is over an hour long because I like to talk and explain things to make sure you understand them. Um, it's it's a long process, but we'll take you through the buttons because we'll look at them. Look at the pictures. There's a little heart. Like they tried to do, I went with silver for this one, but they're like all pearl different things and I added like the tiny little heart at the top and bottom because that's usually on the bottom usually there's like no buttons and there's like an inch gap so I did a tiny little heart and then at the top I did a like smaller little button love that and I always try to make sure too that my center button is different and that it's bigger because sometimes you want to leave it open and just button the center one so I try to make that one like the more special one, I guess. This one goes with that gray bag that I just showed. Um, same style, um, 
this is definitely it feels like a soup almost it's very like soft very textury um the buttons are just just plain the center one something special this one i left that gap at the bottom um pocket this one has a pocket does the tan one have a pocket um the tan one did have a front pocket they also have since i wanted it to be more like a jacket instead of a dress shirt or anything else they have side pockets this one should also have side pockets just because I wanted it to feel like a jacket more than anything else. Um, here is, here's a hat. I am not planning on making hats. This was a special request from a family member and I figured I'd give it a try. And um, this is it. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but I figured if you slightly folded it up, you take out my hair, we're gonna demonstrate it. If you like slightly fold it up, it like makes kind of a cute little hat. And this is like elasticated, the waistband, cause it's like, if your head's smaller, your head is bigger, whatever but you can roll it up as many times as you want if you wanted like just those like short little hats the short little like beanie type hats um but yeah i really really like this i did like blues and grays and i also did like a warmer like fleece as material to keep it almost more of a layered hat, but I thought that that was cute. Um, three more items. So this one is, will probably be under, if I, I plan on having like a sale tab for my super older, like starting out works that I originally did and for reworks. This is a rework. Um, I obviously added the collar, cut off the sleeves, cut it open, added extra so that it buttons. It's like a little like vest-esque type. Thought it was pretty. Here is a, this one's not finished because it's missing a button and I haven't sewn on the button yet, but this, um, is on my TikTok. I did not put it on my business Instagram because I had posted already twice and I didn't want to overload it and I figured this wasn't as important. But it's a little like Christmas-esque type. But now with the plaid and the red and uh, this is the last item that I will show you, and then we will cut it off. Um, if I can find the right way to go. Um, this one was supposed to have, I think, nine buttons, but it only has eight. And I have the extra button, so I'm going to, like, sew it on the inside as, like, a spare. But look at this. Look. Look how cute this is. It's, it's like, it's got extra long sleeves. I did not cut off the sleeves. The sleeves probably go five or six inches past my arm. Just because I wanted it to also possibly be like, almost like a big and tall type thing. Like fit my taller gaze maze. Girls gaze maze. Um, but yeah, it's flannel. This one has a pocket this one just has a square and i matched it up pretty well so that way like you could almost like not tell that there was a pocket 
this one does not have the pockets on the sides because I wanted it to just be more of a flannel. And then it's just got those turquoise buttons. So that is about all that I have made so far um, over the semester, which is pretty good for me going back and forth. Um, so make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. I try to post at least once a month towards the mid end of the month. Also, um, leave me a comment. Tell me, I will respond to your comments. I will like your comments. Tell me what you want to see. If you want to see a video of me making a candle, I can try to do that for you. Um, if you want to see more videos about my business that I'm trying to start up, I can try to do that. Um, if there's a specific type of art video you want to see, I can do that. Um, I did recently add some things to my room, so if you want to see an updated room tour, I can do that next month as well. I can do styling tips. I can do anything you want. <laughs> no, not anything you want, but if you have any sort of ideas, anything that you'd like to see, please let me know, and I hope you guys have a great day and a wonderful holiday, and I will see you later. Goodbye!